Hi everyone and welcome back. In this video we are going to talk about another important life cycle method which is should component update. Okay, it is doing lot of things for our component and if you try to understand it. So should component always returns a boolean. Okay, first of all this should be clear. If I am writing a should component update here, that means it will just return either true or false. For now I will just return true. Okay. So should component update always returns a boolean and I mean the description of this component a description of this method in name itself should component update should I render it should I not okay if you worried about the the I mean lot of re-rendering which is happening in your component to improve the performance you can just do a checks you can do a check checks like okay re-render this component only if this condition is getting match otherwise sometimes you see a lot of re-rendering is happening for your child components and unnecessary we keep re-rendering a lot of things are happening in the background right so should component update if you returning false then it will stop rendering so what you can do is only we can put some kind of condition if a particular state something like this we can return a true or false right next state so it accepts two things it accepts one uh, parameter next props and next state okay so here we can check if next state some some uh, state object is getting changed then only do the re-rendering otherwise we are fine to do, do not re-render because if it is returning true then update lifecycle will go forward it will actually calling the get snapshot before update render and then component did update this is the life cycle will be, which will get triggered right so what this should component update actually doing it is actually controlling when your component should re-render after this we again uh, it's like update life cycle we are talking so something has been updated we actually trigger get derived state from props now you might be questioning why this again if we have seen this uh, the life cycle diagram so get derived state from props is something common which is getting executed before the render in the initial life cycle i mean while you are actually mounting the component then get derived state from props is executing before the first render which is happening okay then if you are updating something in the component then this is the again will get trigger okay so this uh, get derived state from props uh, this will again trigger whenever something is changing so I write if you need to update your state based on the props you can do it by running a new state object okay so why should we run this are we getting anything from it maybe or may not be this is based on your implementation so there might be some edge case like you are updating something and then based on this method you wanted to check something okay so the basic example which I can think of like I'm just checking uh, this is a child component. I re I have some local state. I got some new data in the props from the parent component. Then I will check. Okay, first I need to reset the state based on the new data I am getting from the parent component. Then I can just do some kind of a check and I can update the state. You will see this in the practical examples that will be more clear here like state dot blocks uh, length zero. Then I will just returning the empty state object. Otherwise I will be initializing it. So with our example like uh, this, uh, this may be some component and uh, number of blocks is a props. So number of blocks which has been increased from the parent component. Okay, but we have already loaded the past blocks in the state. We already have it. And now we wanted to load it. So what we can do is we can reset the state. If the blocks length is greater than zero then return the empty. Otherwise, we can get the data from the props. The, the latest number of blocks or latest number of data which we have received from the props okay so get derived state from props is coming back again then we have this should component update which is a going to return true or false based on that we are going to trigger the render then get snapshot before update and component did update this is the life cycle we are executing okay so let's see this uh, get snapshot before update method uh, in the next video thanks everyone